The cost of non-compliance is usually divided into financial and non-financial costs. But in this video, let's look at it differently. The better way of looking at costs of non-compliance is to divide it into obvious costs and not so obvious costs. The obvious costs are easy to understand, track, and mitigate. Like, one, fines from regulators for non-compliance of statutory rules. Two, costs of additional internal audits to verify that everything is in order. Three, costs of rework to ensure you are finally compliant. Four, additional manpower and resources that is required to ensure there are no further compliance slip-ups. But it's the not-so-obvious costs that hurt the organization more. They are 1. Business disruption due to regulator lockdown of a business unit or the entire organization. 2. Productivity loss each time employees need to focus on a cleanup, leaving them little time for productive work. 3. Brand loss due to bad media coverage, leading to customer erosion. The biggest culprit, though, is the loss that is not accounted for due to non-standardized operating procedures and lack of standardized controls. For years, an organization may be operating at lower efficiency without being noticed until regulatory compliance audits unravel the cracks. Geome's digital blueprint has helped several banks around the world to become more efficient and comply with regulations. The application enables banks to create digitized standard operating procedures, which includes regulatory policies for every employee role. Geom Digital Controls enables banks to track all the risks and ensure compliance by applying the right controls. The comprehensive dashboards ensure that banks can effectively monitor and mitigate compliance issues before they grow in stature. By using Geom's products, banks not only negate the cost of non-compliance, but also benefit from increased organizational efficiency and agility. Geo, software that drives enterprise productivity.